afternoon, sir. State your name for the court record, please. Can you go, Lovelace? Mr. Lovelace, you are in court today to be arraigned. Mr. Kramer, go ahead, please. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Jack Kramer on behalf of Jalico Lovelace, who is here to be arraigned today, Your Honor, with regard to the arraignment. <clears throat> we would waive a formal reading and uh, we find we stand mute for the purposes of arraignment and ask that a not guilty plea be entered. Thank you. Mr. Kramer, are you retained? I am retained, Your Honor. Okay. Did you file your appearance yet? I did, Your Honor. I don't have it in the file, so make sure you get it before you leave. I will check with your clerk, James. Thank you. The court accepts the waiver of the arraignment, enters a plea of not guilty, will schedule the matter for a pretrial, and notes defendants retain his own counsel. With regard to the bond, good afternoon, Detective Kordeski. Uh, I'm going to ask for no contact with uh, the victim in the case, and then as far as the other stuff, I'm going to defer to his attorney. Right. Mr. Kramer. Your Honor, my client is 17 years old. He resides in Sterling Heights with his mother. His mother is present here in the courtroom. Uh, my client has no prior criminal history whatsoever. He's a good kid. He's a good student. He's a good athlete. Uh, he's looking forward to coming to court to clear his name. <clears throat> and as the detective noted, I believe a personal bond would be appropriate in this matter, Your Honor. It is alleged that the assault occurred in the school? Ah, uh, yes, sir. And the defendant and the victim attend the same school? Yes, sir. And you believe that no contact order can be established to avoid that there would not be any direct contact? I mean, is there going to be any occasion where they'll be in the same room or hallway? Uh, the, exact, the exact details would have to be worked out. Uh, obviously, the defendant would have to follow your no contact order. Uh, in past cases involving two students at the same school, the schools have been able to um, coordinate different schedules so they never see each other. Uh, that's a detail that has to be worked out with the school. Okay. Mr. Kramer, anything you want to address about that? Your Honor, the court has no objection to a no contact order. My client will not be in contact with the complaining witness going forward. The court sets the bond at 1,000 personal recognizance with the following conditions. No contact with the complaining witness. No assault or behavior. Not to leave the state of Michigan. Is he employed? No, Your Honor. And to so obey an 8 p.m. curfew. Anything else? No further comment. No further comment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. State your name. Hello, I'm Hey, please, the court, your honor, Paul Addis, on behalf of Mr. Young. Thank you, Mr. Addis. This is the date time for the arraignment. Judge, we have waived reading. It's to the charges. Did you file your appearance yet, Mr. Addis? I did. I believe your clerk has a judge. The court accepts the waiver of the arraignment, enters a plea of not guilty, set up for a free trial. Concerning defendant's bond detective? I would ask for uh, no contact with the victim in this case and follow student deal cell. Uh, same conditions that we spoke of earlier. Uh, as far as um, the other stuff, when there's a bond, I'll defer to him. Mr. Adams? Yes, Judge. Um, he is 18 years old. Uh, he is currently a student at, uh, at DLSL. Uh, he is uh, scheduled to graduate this year at Eastern Illinois uh, next year. He has a 3.0 grade point average, no criminal record. Um, judge, we'd ask for a uh, personal bond in this matter. Based upon this, all these uh, statements made by counsel and the detective, the court sets the bond at 1,000 personal recognizance, no contact with complaining witness. No assaulted behavior. And not to leave the state. That can be addressed if it comes at issue later on regarding the school. And he doesn't need to leave the state for the school at all. Not at this time, okay. Judge. If there's something that comes up, I'm sure I can address okay. it. Anything else? No, you're not. All right, thank you. Hello, state your name, please. Sean Bonnery. <clears throat> Mr. Bonnery, this is file 20838. You 
you are in court to be arraigned on a misdemeanor charge. Did Mr. Schneider speak to him? He had an attorney when he showed up for booking, and I, I'm not sure where she stepped up, Your Honor. Mr. Bonner, have you hired or retained your own lawyer, do you know? Uh, my original one, uh, she couldn't do it because of the conflict, so she referenced another one to us. Okay, you do have the right to a court-appointed attorney at today's arraignment. And we have an attorney, Mr. Schneider. I don't believe that he, went, he met with him. Mr. Schneider, can you come forward, please? For the record, Your Honor, Kevin Schneider. Uh, no, I have not met with this young man. Um, I was not informed that he was actually okay. in custody. I can easily go talk to him very quickly and we can resolve this matter. I just want to make sure that he is in need of an attorney right now. You said he walked in with an attorney? Well, it doesn't, from what he's telling me, it doesn't sound like he's actually retained the lawyer, so I was advising him of the right to have an attorney uh, court appointed uh, through the MIGC. Uh, legislation that's been passed. You can, get an, you can get an attorney free of charge only for today's arraignment. If Mr. Schneider is available, he could come over there and talk to you right now. You want that, sir? Okay. Yeah. All right, very, very well. I ask you to do that and then we'll do that. Call. Yes, okay. sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do you State your name. Pearson. Mr. Pearson, you are in court to be arraigned on two misdemeanor warrants. Good morning. Good afternoon again, Mr. Addis. Go ahead, please. Good afternoon, Judge. May I please the court Paul Addis on behalf of Mr. Pearson. Judge, we'd waive reading and stand mute to the charges. Thank you. He is not guilty. Shall we enter into the charges? Regarding Mr. Pearson's bond detective? I uh, re request no contact with the victims in this case and fellow students at DSL High School. Uh, and the other aspects of bond, I'm going to defer to his attorney. Thank you. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, yes, Judge. Mr. Pearson is 18 years old. Uh, currently has a 3.6 grade point average, scheduled to graduate from DLSL this year and attend to Albion College next year. Uh, Judge, he is the president of the Black Student Association and currently in the National Honor Society. I would ask that he be given a personal bond. Uh, Judge, I have spoken to his family who is in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. They indicated to me that they have a family trip planned and would ask that they be able to leave the state March 2nd through the 5th. Where? I believe they're going to Florida, Judge. It's a family trip to Disney World, I believe. The court sets the bond at 1,000 personal recognizance on each of the files, no contact with the respective complaining witnesses, no assaultive behavior, not to leave the state except for the pre-planned vacation. Anything else? No further contact. Okay. Thank you. Nothing, Judge. Thank you. Thanks. 